At 5, we showed you how GDOT has decided to stop installing a new kind of highway guardrail after our Channel 2 Action News investigation. And while we were digging into that, we uncovered an older model of guardrail so dangerous, the federal government told states to remove them back in the 90s. But Channel 2's investigative reporter Jody Fleischer found hundreds of those guard guardrails still all over Georgia roads. She's here with even more action promised by GDOT after we brought it to their attention. They're called breakaway cable terminals or BCTs. They cover the sharp end of the guardrail and they're supposed to steer your car away, not spear right through it. The main reason Georgia hasn't replaced all of these, they don't know where they are or how many we still have. 20 years after the federal government warned about these rail fails. Even the emergency crews couldn't believe it. When they rolled up on this wreck along Interstate 20, the giant metal guardrail had sliced right into the car, straight through the passenger and driver. I would not look at the picture of the vehicle. I didn't want to see it, but it cut them, pretty much cut them in half. Vicki Spradley lost her only child, Jacob. Outgoing and friendly, he had just gotten a new job and a newfound friendship with his mom. The last couple months was the best months of my life with him. I didn't know what to think, and it didn't make sense. Jacob's car hit the end of the guardrail, a rounded piece of metal called the breakaway cable terminal, or BCT. What his mom did not know is the BCT should not have even been there. I know that they were killing hundreds of people per year back when they were widely used. Dr. Dean Sicking invented six of the nine types of guardrail ends in use today, and he served on the national committee that led to this safety memo in 1998. It told states BCTs should now be replaced due to unacceptable passenger compartment intrusion. It noted BCTs are too stiff to protect drivers. And I fought long and hard to get the BCT in the category that it had to be replaced under any highway maintenance because I knew it was a very dangerous system and needed to be taken out. But the Fed stopped short of requiring states to immediately remove all BCTs, instead allowing it to happen gradually as they completed routine road work. How many of those BCTs are on Georgia's roads right now? I couldn't give you the exact number. Georgia's transportation commissioner admits his department keeps no records of which type of guardrail ends we have and where. I would say there are very few, there may be a few out there if they've, they've been missed, but I, I would venture to say that most of them have been caught and repaired. His few is actually a few hundred, at least. Channel 2 mapped more than 300 BCTs all over Georgia highways. Interstate 75 in Cobb County, 675 in DeKalb, dozens along 985 in Hall County. You can't go out and do it overnight. So you but do it's it. been 16 years. Well, that's, again, in the transportation world, that's, that, you know, that's, that's not necessarily that long of a time. We found BCTs that clearly need replacing in Fulton and Gwinnett counties. On Buford Highway in Atlanta, two sit just feet from others that have been replaced. And crews clearly missed a few on I-20 in Douglas County, where a fresh asphalt project just finished. I would like to think that they're, they're following a federal highway advice. If they're doing that, then there shouldn't be that many out there. The rules do allow some exceptions, and with tight budgets, GDOT may have skipped some, but did ask for a copy of our map. If we've missed something in projects or if we haven't gotten to those things or if it meets the criteria, we want to address it. Vicki says it's too late for Jacob, but GDOT should be doing more. I don't understand how hard is it to fix something, especially when it comes to human life. Go out there and find them. Go to our website at WSBTV.com to see the interactive map of the locations we found. You'll also find a slideshow and stories of other drivers' encounters with the BCT. Now, as we were putting this story together, we heard back from GDOT again. After our interview, the commissioner did some more research and decided he would send crews around the state to seek out and create a timeline to replace all of the remaining BCTs. Reporting in Northeast Atlanta, Jody Fleischer, Channel 2 Action News. And that is not the only action resulting from our investigation into Georgia's rail fails. We broke the news on Twitter and Facebook this morning that GDOT's commissioner has decided to stop installing the new kind of guardrail end that is also linked to deaths all around the country. Our investigation scoured crash reports and pictures and uncovered two Georgia deaths tied to that ET+. Plus. The company that makes it will be performing new crash tests in hopes of proving that the product is safe.